So in this video I want to look on a new updates from DALI um, 2. It is the introduced art painting. And you know it's interesting because sometimes you think oh the file behind them service but definitely the work something under hood. And I want to show you today how to use this art painting and what it is. And tell you true jump ahead I was surprised in a nice way. So let's go ahead to use out painting. We need to upload some image or generated one. So I decide to create a little bit more challenging and have it photo upload. Like right here, for example, it's photo shoot. We'll say it's a Rococo photo shoot cake time. Um, you don't necessarily need to upload square image. It will accept only the square image, but you can have um, different image and it will just uh, prompt you to crop here. When you're done crop to absolutely square, just press done. And one thing, don't click generate variations or anything. You can, and we'll look in a second what it does. But what I'm going to do is just click on edit image. Okay, as we click on edit image, you can see we have it, our options and it has its beta, but it still kind of work very well. So let me zoom out a little bit. And you notice on the bottom, we have it one that's called add generation frame. So this is what I want to do. I want to click on this. And this is another square and I can position wherever I want to extend. So I'm going to just put it on a side, like right here. And as a right, we need to put it, what do we want to generate? So let's go ahead, go call um, breakfast, fun pastel colors, okay, flowers, and you can see how well my spelling it's why i do use the special service for these flowers fun lifting i think that is a rococo breakfast you know let's go put a room so we kind of know it's a rococo breakfast room fun pastel colors i don't think we need more let's go ahead and we click generate Depending on how load service, you can see it is progressing. I'm just uh, to show you how long it will take for first. The other ones, if we'll do more, we'll probably skip. It. It's quite a bit. You can see it's rendered. It's actually very nice extending for us, but don't just click accept. You notice we have it four variations. So by clicking arrow, we can go and preview some of them. See which one you think it's fit better. Um, you know what? I think this one look kind of interesting and of course if you don't like you can re-render again cancel or whatever and render again but i will accept that one for now and i can drag again a frame so i'm going just to extend this area okay and same things just go ahead and let's click generate so we'll generate another one and again it will take it a little bit time notice we still have it our line on top so it's still same things processing um and we have flowers funds yeah let's see how it will do with a vase it actually does very good look on this it's extend vase create very well we can go through all of these permutations and hmm, i don't necessarily like some of this this is kind of interesting let's go cancel again and generate see what this give it us again i kind of was okay but i'm not really was fan about some of them keep in mind um regenerate it does take a credits every time when it's generating so i did purchase additional credits here i can use Woo, that is way better okay oh look on that that one actually i like quite a bit nice how it also extended you can see the flowers extensions um okay let's look i think this one the best for me because i do like with the chair it's add but I think for the room, this one applied. So we'll go ahead, click accept. And we can also going on top. For example, if we want to expand just a little bit below and let's test this, you know what I mean? Let's go below and up. Let's go make this. One thing notice that it will accept 1024 by 1024 image. But when we extend, we can extend to bigger size, which is actually much better. So let's go ahead. I'm going on top, click generate now as well. And now to kind of, we'll see how fast it will generate it because sometimes it will take time. And I think it's just 
stop at my generation so okay let me click generate again and what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch them around. Say, yeah, look on this. It's actually something going on there with the generation. Okay, so it's done. Oh, we even have the breakfast club sign. That one kind of look interesting. You know what? I may like this one. Let's go just keep this one right now. Same, we can go on this corner. And what I'm going to do, you know, before that corner, because it will be easier, I'm going down below one, see that one, what is happening. So we'll go ahead and generate the bottom. And after I generate bottom, I'll just go generate corners as well. And uh, I'll pause. So you don't need to wait when uh, corners will generate it. And after this, we can look on our final image. Well, look on this. It's actually <laughs> very good on a dress I'm really impressed how it's work oh look at this we can actually separate that is really impressive work I think hmm that is a I'm something about from this one or this because that is have some interesting but no we'll probably go down to this one so let's go ahead accept and I actually did very good job learning this how it is created and I'm sure if we go here and click generate, um, I'm sure it's probably will fill up table in other ones because it does pick up its own information about what it was generated. So it's keeping inside. So it's actually very, very impressive how it, they did. Okay, i look on this. It does it well, I say generate even table extend. Okay, let's go see what we have here. Oh, look at this. The chair and give it extension of chair. I do like extension on oh, this one is good. See, that is a problem. It's very hard to select what I wanted. That one we caught, but we have a chair here. And this is a part, you know, um, people say it's AI generated, but that way you have it a little bit more as an artist influence. And I have a darker and darker here. So I probably will go chair. I just want a little bit more detail so I can preview them after, you know, when they're going creation. Okay, here's a corner and it's messy, 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 messy. So let's go see if we can find anything better. Nope. I think that corner is get a little bit messy. So let's go ahead, cancel, generate again. Okay, oh, that time a little bit better. It's here with the clock. I do like clock. I'll keep this one. Okay, let's go accept that one. And we'll look on the credits. I have it 87. So it does count credit per image. So it does not count credits per um, three images, your selection. So it's count only credit per whatever you're selecting. And right here, let's look. I have it 87 credits right now so let's go ahead generate and I did purchase credits so I can kind of experiment with this stuff um, and uh, speak about credits I'm actually will be going another video right now so many services out everyone tried to create their own AI generated and some of them scummy some of them not so we'll look actually I'll make a video to look over them if you're interested you can check them out oh look on this one nice I like this one, but I don't like sign right here on the side. That one work very well. Okay, we'll click one right here. Let's go drag our final corner. So we'll go generate that one. Okay, it's render. Now we have some repetition going here, but ooh, this one. Yeah, let's keep it that one. So after we accept, we go ahead and just save it. Click download. The one thing what I don't like it, if you don't save it, it actually does not save it. One a huge complaint for me for the uh, DALI, like in a mid journey, this is a huge win for the mid journey. So you go over there, you go to your home and I have it all of my images, whatever I render, I have it access to them. They save it. It's no point for them not to save it. Okay. Um, this is my work, what I tried, I can go look up what string I used, all this stuff. With a DALI, if you don't save this work, okay, or you don't add it to your elements that you created, it is 
get lost. So you cannot access to this. So be sure you save it. And Jose, I, this is my biggest problem complain about Dali. Why? Or, you know, if you buy premium um, credits, save list those to render that I'm paying money for, not just this. Uh, it's my complaining about this. Okay, let's go back to edit images. And again, if I look right here, you can see I have it some previously I generated, but again, none of my variations save it. Nothing is saved here from what we did with the editing, which is a little bit uh, disappointment. Uh, you know what? Before we jump in Photoshop and look close up, let's open this image. And now I want to create variation. So we'll see what this does because one minus you'll find this is high resolution if we look on photoshop you'll notice some details versus what is generated so we'll just select this one and i'll go ahead and click generate um variations so we'll see how it will generate variations based on this image and we can use that image to extend as well and also you can edit some elements that we did not do yet Okay, here's our original and here's our variation. Boring, that one, maybe face is kind of weird. You know what, I <laughs> I like original better still, but it give it us interesting way to go forward. And this one maybe, you know, I'm going between this. Yeah, let's go ahead, we'll select that one. Okay, and of course, we'll just save it just in case they have it weird eyes all that stuff we can go inside and by the way you can save at this point you can share add it to your collection if you needed those images but also you have it some little bit right display a uh, few history still be there so you can still access this from this point we can still access edit and we can do same things what we did before so you're not just the generation frame 124 we can still do same things what we've done before in this case i'll just go extend just a little bit one way and same things we need to describe this Rococo breakfast room colors fun uplifting flowers and again I cannot spell anything properly so we'll do this and let's go ahead click generate i won't generate all big ones what i will do i'll just extend from left and right it will be same idea what i want to do it's a compare on the resolution because um, one thing what i found out it does uh, produce a little bit lower resolution image for us Ooh, it's that is kind of interesting wrong wrong perspective wrong 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 perspective on this one done um, what I was meaning, if you look on a tilting camera, it's definitely wrong. So let's go cancel this. I want to see if it take some credits from me for the canceling. So let's do try one more time. Okay, right here we have this a little bit better. Oh, there you go. That is, oh, this one is nice too. Now it's did better actually on my, many of them. I'll just probably, I don't know, this one has extended the room. So it's kind of hard to say which one we want to do. This is break perspective. I think this one is best. Okay, let's go accept this one. Now we'll go on this side and we'll do same things extended. I'll say I won't go top and bottom because we're done before and you can saw what's going on there. Okay, so we have here. Ooh, I like this one. Yeah, let's go with vanity. You know, and it's like an infomercial, but wait, there's a more. You remember when I did a clock and I don't like it? One last thing that was previously inside um, Dali, you can also just take a razor. And like, for example, I don't like this piece. So I can just like go erase right here element. Maybe, you know, uh, erase. I don't know. I like those ones. But point is this. You can erase them. You can generate. And what it does, it's take that element. Like for example, the corner, you remember when I have a sign and I don't like it. So I can actually take a razor, erase just that element and it will recreate for me, um, generate the spot, which is actually a very big benefit. Um, the work very well when we do composing. Look, it's gone this way, but we can also go in and says, you know what? I like this one better. So I just remove the elements and it's work very well. 
same for example if we're going to create compositing and I'll show you in a second what we'll do is before that let me go ahead and save this element inside okay so let's go ahead and go back now let's go to preload images so I'm going to click upload and here we're uploading image I also just expand this image size just a square because a problem is when we import a portrait image or whatever inside in this case it will be portrait size image when we import it here you'll see it's ask for cropping but I want full figure in this case so I'll just select as a square done so we'll just use this one and I'll go to edit um, right now let's go ahead and we actually want to put a text. Let's go input, and I think it will start complaining. Yeah, because it's need. It says, "Hey, put it something in." So let's go put it. Um, Cyberpunk street rain haze neon lights uh, big screen TV LED uh, what next wires wires wet ground neon punk so we'll just add those ones let's go click now again upload okay same things we'll done here Let's go to edit image. We should have our text in. And I just going to oh, come on. Give me, give me, give me. There you go. We just go. There you go. Now it's a line up here. So we'll just go erase stuff around. Let's take a little time. It's thinking. I think it's already start rent generating something. Okay. So we'll go a little bit slow. It's maybe does not like when I go too fast. I wish they have a little bit better uh, tool to masking, you know, take from Photoshop or Actually, this is what I should try because I have already um, masked this out. Maybe I should try transparent PNG and see if that will work. So that is our next experiment will be. And to tell you the truth, I did not try the transparent PNG before. So we'll go ahead and try after this and see how it will work. Uh, let's see if it will decrease size. It does not. Let's go see if it's nope. Okay, we'll just adjust here. Eraser. So it's quite a bit. Uh, I don't want to erase head. Okay, we'll try that. Okay. Let's go ahead and you know what? If they don't give me ability, I don't see how I can actually erase. Hmm, that does not work. We'll just go and erase word. We'll see what this will do. Uh, will do for us. Actually, right here. Oh, yeah. I'm blind. You know what, guys? I am real blind. Okay. Because yeah, I can. Uh, it's still a bit too small. It's one go inside. Uh, too big. Sorry. It does not allow me to go even smaller. Let's see if I can teeny tiny. Uh, there you go. A little bit. Oh, that should work. Okay, our goal is just to see what will happen. Okay, let's go down now here. I got the hair. Actually, this is very good. Okay, there you go. We need to put it more. Cyberpunk Street. Haze. Rain. Neon Lights. Green TV. Uh, Messy street wires. Uh, what else we can add? We we have neon punk. This is just 
add some stuff. I think that is good. Let's go try what will happen now. So we did cut his head off kind of and the sword. We'll see if it's will restore it. So it could be interesting. Also, it says refresh. I notice right here, look, we have an update on our extensions, which is actually very good. We can come back and reuse them. Our original Neon Punk. Oh, you know what? I like this one. It's not necessarily Neon Punk, but it will work for us right now. Okay, so let's go save this one. I'll save to my collection. Okay, and we can go to back. Actually, I did not edit, but it's same expansion. So we can expand the hell, but I do like it. Um, it's at the reflection actually on the ground. Very good. Okay, let's go back to our edit. And we're going just to add and it should be expanded very good. Actually, you know what? Let's go expand even right away. As we do experimenting, I'll just put it all the way out. Don't even intersect, okay? So we'll see how that will work. Um, it's not necessarily work as cyber, you know, cyberpunk street for me. I look at a purple, blue colors, and it's actually what does many times. Uh, this is, I think, was a little bit confused by my haze and rain. Look at this. It's, it does not work very well this way. But if we intersect, it actually should start reading colors because otherwise you saw it's created truly neon punk colors. So I think the intersecting will allow the AI read some information that was created and extended that. Yeah, you'll see it's, it's what did very well extension. So we definitely, when we do um, create, okay, let's go check big screen this. Nope, nope. So I like or this one or that green. Let's go keep it in the green colors. Okay, same. We can go and if we extend this. And you know what? I don't like this sign. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise this sign. We just don't like how it's come up there. Okay, let's click generate. So we'll get two. We erase it and we extend it. See how it's now Dali will hold that one. Okay, it did some job here, but oh no, 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 no. Well, that one, okay, I'll accept that one. But we still need it. Move it. So I think I need just move this on the middle, like right here. And then I can use it. Eraser. We'll see because it does erase, but it did not replace anything with this. So let's see if the generate will work on that one. Yep, it did work. And because I was a little bit off, you can see it does. Oh, look at this. Yeah, we can. I think that one does look more nice. We have it, so I accept. And you know what? I will just leave this. I'm gonna see if it's come up transparent. It's very easy to fix this in Photoshop. Or actually, you know, we can do even right now. Let's go try it. Go like right here. Okay, we'll go select eraser. Let's just erase these. I want to see how well it's click generate. I want to see if it's will get our um, reflections. Very good. Yeah, I did a very beautiful job actually. Look on this angles. So okay, right here. Let's go ahead and save this work. Okay. Um, next, what I want to do, let's go back to our images. I want to test if we using, um, let's erase that one. If we're using transparent image, I want to see how that will work. Okay, so we go ahead and let's upload a transparent PNG. Okay, so we're going to see if actually it will read transparent or not. Okay, right here, let's go ahead, click done. Let's go click edit. And it seems like pick up some transparency uh, let's go to see if it's that created we'll go to some paste cyber let's go click generate and you notice i just click on one place couplets will pick up but i'm afraid it did well we'll see it's it's take the image as that i hope it does not will make variational things i hope it will um add background but right here you with me will see our result i never done this before that way so it's an experiment going live experiment trial and uh, yep it did mess up some on the edges okay so let's go ahead 
look maybe a preview so now it's a keep somewhat transparency mess up with the feet definitely uh, some people may like it you know I think it's actually not good experiment <laughs> okay so let's go back here variations let's go check what we come up with okay and it did variations on our character so it's a little bit better I just did pick up this word which is kind of nice it wasn't before you can see and I do like it's try rotate almost similar you know with the art breather if you work before with that uh, right here we have it so yeah it's kind of interesting variations but I don't think um, I like with that so let's go ahead edit again and you know what we'll just select extension let's go click right there okay we'll just need click anyway so we'll have it prompt I don't know why prompt did not pop up right here yep we click this let's go to paste again cyberpunk wet rain neon light so that should work let's try one more time but on this case I selected actually frame so we'll see if that will change okay so we have a similar result as before you can see it just change legs modify face I don't think it's work very well with transparency it's so sad but it's I can see how I can use it for the edges so this can be nice if we want to blend edges we can do this but general I don't think it does very good job so let's go ahead right now and open the other images inside the Photoshop so we can compare close up what it did okay so let's go ahead inside the Photoshop right here is our original image and we can definitely see um, details even it's a downscale from original size but you can definitely see the quality on this so let's go ahead next we'll go use it um, our upscale version right here you can see we add it and if we come closer let's go you can see definitely change resolution when we go inside this is the biggest problem that I find out with uh, DALI it's not yet up to resolution so like right here you can see details going on a photo even it's a scale down I scale down to 1024 but we still have very nice sharp details and it is almost like using some painting so it does not produce this great resolution same like look on this flowers yeah it definitely does not produce that resolution versus right here this is from photo and on the left this is try to render so resolution is not there it's more like almost painting which is in some case may work but you can definitely see where these um, try to apply so as an image as for the extension may work if we blend in will take some painting effect and blend in but even on a cake you can see the cake going here and this is Dali created cake so yeah definitely it's uh, um, not I see the way it's can work you know from as a I do a lot of digital compositing all the stuff I see how it's can work in some art maybe background extensions or other things maybe you know even is as a concept art uh, will work because this way oh this is cool idea you know we need to put chair some other stuff so I see how that may work same like put it sign um, I did not put sign before but I definitely probably will create sign for my photo shoots and put it on top so this is one of them okay so if we look on the render and if you remember we take we say hey make variation with this so let's make that variation with us and um as together of course that will work because it's same resolution it's work okay uh faces still be like there was um something unfortunate accident happened to the faces it's still looking on this um i think at this point mid journey actually does way better job with the faces portraits than dali and i'm sure dali will catch up because it's kind of between them but general composition that are actually nice remember it was one middle and it's extended on a side so overall it's not bad actually done it's nice again it's not as high as details it's a painting effect all the stuff and 
we can look this is the full resolution 100% but it's not going there so let me show you another ones uh, did it if you remember this is um, so this is another one I tried and it's which uh, overall you can see what I do we set extension like this background it's a render in a mid journey and I compositing with this um, not the flowers or candles that one was from photo shoot so same things I take this and I put it inside um, Dali with set extension and same cropping you can see the same flowers still be here but if we look closer um, problem like with the hand arm extension was right there so it did not work well that need be retouched afterwards and it you can see the cut was right line you almost can see this line going right there so below it wasn't um, it was an original right here but it wasn't here because the one square and I crop in so that is extension actually it's not bad it's nice extension um, for me not enough gray not enough realistic dust and mist but that is easy to add same like with the candles it's did a very good job on this extension and everything and some flowers so you can see it's actually can work very well if like you're creating this set from just portrait it's work very well you can also um, use this as a base next put it inside the photoshop add maybe some dust smoke grinch inside blend it even more fix some of those mistakes but it is save you a lot of time from take other images creating or even create this set for photo shoot so it definitely work it won't be working like on a main plan but it will work for you to um creating image and right here no no oh, look on this yep it's what i was saving it did have some problems so i need to resave again but we miss that one uh sometimes it does not update properly but what i want to see it's dali does a very impressive job on those reflections if we look on the when it's created same with his shoes look on this that is actually very hard to do with the shoes too because back sole right here it's not visible to us so whatever you create reflections in compositing this is one of the hardest parts so i definitely maybe use it dali for reflections like right here this is definitely work very well so we can use the shadows in the reflections and used in our compositing work and this is um the comments people were posted they start saying hey it's a artist is dead the ai took over all that stuff i will say it is a tool you can see it's definitely a tool that it help us to produce better work to do some like reflection shadows other stuff it is just another tool and as poor knowledge of the tool it's make us scared of use it or fear for something and that's what i'm trying to do look on this video show how it's work how we can use this tool and hopefully progress so in this case if you like these videos if you think it's fun and entertainment please um, knowledgeable give me a thumbs up you know subscribe to the channel uh, if you don't like it how say put a two thumbs up your subscription tell about sharing video and other ones help me to bring up popularity a little bit up and i appreciate this your all support again in this video I was looking for new out painting from dali 2 and also on some imaging editing from real photos thank you for watching this and have a great day